Normally I don't get much dreams and I don't share dreams to public but last week I had two dreams in one night and I felt compelled to share with you what I saw I feel that it is a very significant time in the world that we are living in and that and as a believer it is very important that we need to pray and walk in the fear of god in my dream first i saw that there was civil unrest in different parts of the world not just in usa but also in different parts of the world i saw people becoming frustrated and resorting to violence and protests I feel that it is very important for us as believers to pray into this matter. The second dream I saw was that I was preaching and the believers were not paying attention to what I was saying. And they were busy in kitchen baking cakes and others were busy on their mobile phones and talking to each other. There were a lot of distractions. I believe that as believers we have allowed the world and the media to dictate our lives and we have become so engrossed and distracted by what is happening around us that we have forgotten or failed to hear what God is saying to us. Jesus said in John chapter 10 verse 27 My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. As believers we are supposed to hear God's voice and follow him. But sadly we have become martyrs of the Bible who got distracted by many things around her. In the gospels we read that when Jesus went into Mary and Martha's house Martha got distracted and was busy preparing the food for Jesus but Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus and listening to his words it is written in Luke chapter 10 verse 39 to 42 and she that is Martha had a sister called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word but Martha was distracted with much serving and she approached him and said lord do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone therefore tell her to help me and jesus answered and said to her martha martha you are worried and troubled about many things but one thing is needed and mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her you see here that martha was distracted and she got worried about many things around her and as a result she was frustrated and was blaming her sister and the lord that's what happens when you get distracted by the things around you you can easily get succumb to the worry which always waits at the door of your mind to enter at every opportunity it finds that worry then resides in your mind and drives you to frustrations and then you start blaming others for your problems as martha did martha's problem was that she failed to set the priorities right that is to sit at the lord's feet as mary did to hear the words of the lord then she would have been in a better place jesus said in matthew chapter 6 verse 33 but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you that's why jesus had to say to martha 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 you are worried and troubled about many things but one thing is needed and mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her are you distracted by many things around you and do you find yourself in that place 
where you are worried and frustrated in your life then set your priorities right seek god first god is waiting on you has your life become a routine where you work eat and sleep and next day you do the same routine work eat and sleep and then one day die is this the purpose of your life god has not created you just to work eat and sleep but for a greater purpose he has created you you have come to this earth not just to exist but to make a difference and to know the god who has created you let not your life become a routine and a distraction from knowing and hearing god so let us not be like martha but be like mary hearing god's voice and giving god the first priority in our life especially in this challenging times when you choose to be like mary you will be in a better place to face all the challenges of life or else you will end up like martha frustrated and unhappy with all the distractions that life throws in i hope this message has helped you and blessed you and my prayer for you is this that you will seek god first in your life and god will do the rest for you so god bless you amen in this world people are sad worried about their future frustrated and angry and confused and that's why rayma online is there to inspire encourage and build you sanjay regularly shares inspiring teachings from the bible on different social media platforms such as facebook youtube twitter and various other social media platforms so please don't forget to subscribe to get in latest updates please do share with others so that others will be blessed by these inspiring teachings remember rayma online is always there to inspire encourage and build you god bless you